G'day, Peter here, Director of PPA, and thank you to our education video today. Today we're going to talk about the importance of diversification and the power of compound capital growth in a buy and hold strategy. Okay, so look, when most people come to us, uh, they're after a plan, and one of the uh, part of that plan is, is to know, you know where you are now, you might have two, three hundred K in your super, and what's that time frame until you'd like to stop work? And what's, what sort of income would you like to live on during that in your retirement years? Uh, and, and that has to last you that you know, average 23 years people living after retirement. And what's that for you? And to help you with that, we have a, uh, a financial advisor who actually gives you a personal plan uh, based on your specific needs. But now, let's, let's look at actual property and how the power of compound capital growth and uh, the buying half strategy can work for you. Now, this is a... Uh, an example I've done up here, again it's not financial advice, it's just looking at an example of having you know, 8% growth. Australia's property uh, 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 itself has grown at approximately 8.5% over the last 100 years. But let, let's just look at uh, 8% uh, for this easy uh, example. And I've used the property price throughout at, at $400,000 at purchase price. Okay? Now I've done that for the, the multiple properties that you might buy in, in this buy and hold strategy. Again, it's just for easy, easy maths um, and to show you how the, the power of compound capital growth works and uh, that buying whole strategy. Okay, so look, this example is, okay, we're here today, you want to you buy your first property or, and to get into the market and, you, and start your investment portfolio. Uh, and you want to choose a city that's obviously at the right time of the growth cycle and drilling down the micro and macro to get the best location within that city for your maximum returns. So you can fast track your way to uh, uh, financial freedom. Okay, so here we are now at four hundred thousand dollars. That grows at eight percent. That's that's four hundred thirty-two k in the first year, compounding four sixty-six, compounding five hundred three, and compounding and compounding up to year ten. It works out to be eight hundred sixty-two thousand dollars. So that's a, that's a gain of four hundred sixty-two thousand dollars compounding capital growth over that ten years of uh, of eight percent compounding capital growth, and then. You might uh, invest in your second property uh, in, in two years after the first one. Again, we're using four hundred thousand dollars as the as the example price. Again, compounding each year over that time frame. It's obviously only eight years in that you've now got because you've bought two years later, and that works out to seven ninety eight, which is a gain of three hundred ninety eight k. Okay, then you might look at your next property in another two years time. You pay four hundred thousand dollars in this example. It compounds in capital growth over this time frame. It's at, in that in year ten from when you start your, uh, your 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 investment strategy. It's now worth seven thirty nine, which is a three hundred thirty nine thousand dollar gain. Okay. Then if if four properties is what's right for you and to reach your target, then you might get your next property in two years time. Again, paying four hundred k and that compounding for you know for for one two three into the fourth year. That's now worth 684, and it works out to be a 284,000 dollar gain. Now, if we add these together, all these figures together, the gains over that 10-year period of your of your time frame, your investment strategy, your gain is 1 million 124,000 dollars, which is which is can make up your shortfall, obviously, that you might have now to what you need to be able to provide you with the income that you need. Now, everybody's strategy is different. Some people have less time, have to be more aggressive. Some people just want to have more money and want to invest uh, more aggressively. Some people have longer time frames uh, and can invest more passively. So it's all about what is right for you. But this is just a short video to show you the power of compound capital growth, the advantage of uh, buying and holding as a strategy. And importantly, when I say diversification of a portfolio, you want your portfolio to be always going upwards rather than having all your eggs in one basket and having all your properties in one city, you want to have in multiple locations around the country, so you've always, in a, a growth cycle, is your, property, your portfolio is on an upward swing. I hope you really enjoyed that, uh, and we'd like to share more uh, education videos with you, uh, so keep, keep an eye out for them. Thanks very much. Peter from PPA.